Everyone running Google Ads dreams of being able to scale a really successful campaign, but to do that, you need to have the right scaling strategy. And in this video, I'm going to show you a new Google Ads scaling strategy, one that you probably haven't heard of before that we're using right now and is working really well. So to explain this new Google Ads scaling strategy, I'm in an example Google Ad account. I'm just in an overview right now. I'm going to go ahead and jump over to the campaign level. You could also do this at the ad group level. I'll explain more about that later on. But once we get here to the campaign section, I want you to go ahead and click on these three little lines above more and then select create an automated rule. And that'll bring us through to a different window where we can do some pretty cool stuff. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to create an automated rule so that our campaign scales in relatively small increments if we are achieving certain results. It will make more sense as we go through it, but that's just a general overview. So what I'm going to go ahead and call this is budget increase 3%. Okay, and then we're going to go through and set this up, right? So this first section is the action. So which campaign do we want this action to apply to? So we can have campaigns in selected accounts or we could select a specific campaign. That's what I'm going to go ahead and do. I'm just going to go ahead and select this example lead campaign, click done, and there we go. So whatever we're about to set up now is going to apply to this campaign. You could, of course, get it to apply to different campaigns or the campaigns. It's really up to you. Then we've got conditions. So if I go ahead and select conditions here, what condition needs to be met for this action to take place? So if we want to increase our budget, we want to spend more on our Google ads, we only want to do so if we're generating great results. Why else would you want to scale? That doesn't make any sense. So what we want to do here is set up our automated rule in a way that if we meet certain criteria that are positive for our business, they're working really well, we want to spend more. If we don't meet those criteria, we don't want to scale. It's a great way to scale. It's relatively hands off and it's also dynamic in that you only spend more if you're getting great results. So let, let's have a look at how we set this up. So there are a number of different options you could go with here. The one that makes most sense to me is if you select conversions and then cost per conversion. If we're running a campaign designed to generate leads, we will nearly always have a lead target in mind. What are we willing to pay per lead with our Google Ad campaign? What is profitable for us? Let's say, for example, we know that anything under a 20 pound cost per lead, that works out really well for our business. Well, what we could do is we could say that the condition needs to be met is that our cost per conversion is less than, in this case, 20 pounds, and then click apply. Now, of course, that might be a different number for your business. It might be higher, might be lower. You may also have a different type of campaign that's optimizing for something else, could be optimizing for a purchase. And you can select some other options. So if we get quickly click back into conditions, you will see that under conversions, for example, instead of just cost per conversion, which would often apply for leads, you could go with things like conversion value. If you're able to feed that back into your Google Ad account and perhaps if you meet a certain return on ad spend number, you want to scale. So the different ways you could set this up depending on the core metric that you're optimizing for, but I do think it should be something conversion based, either cost per conversion or something based around conversion value. OK, so if we meet this condition, our cost per lead is under £20 per lead. Then what do we want to have happen? So this is where we select action. We can do a bunch of options, enable campaign, pause campaign. In this case, I want to go ahead and change budgets. We can filter by. You can see there's different budget types. Are you running average daily budgets, which we nearly always do. So I'm going to go ahead and select that option. But you might just have a total campaign budget. Not usually what I recommend, but some people do. So I'm going to select average daily budgets and then the action. Do we want to just set a new budget? So just set a different amount. Or in this case, we want to increase budget. We can increase it by either a percentage or an actual amount. I'm going to set a percentage because that's nice and dynamic and means we'll always be increasing the budget by the same percentage as opposed to if you just put an amount in, those percentage increases will decrease over time as you get to higher budget levels. Hopefully that makes sense. Anyway, I'm going to go with the percentage and I'm going to go with 3%, which might seem quite small. But the reason why I'm going to do that is because I'm wary of scaling too fast. I've had this experience many times where you scale a campaign too fast, you end up spending too much money and your results really drop off very quickly. When you scale, you are requiring your ads to be put in front of more people, depending on what campaign type you're using, whether it's just a search campaign or like a performance max campaign, you are putting your ads in front of more people. Assuming you did a good job setting up your keywords, your targeting or whatever, and you are reaching the right people with your existing budget, as you spend more, you're going to start advertising to people that are perhaps slightly less ideal prospects than that absolute core that you started with because you're asking Google to put your ads in front of more people. So that's often why your cost per conversion does decrease the more you spend. So that's something to be wary of. If you go ahead and increase your budget by a lot in one go, that is more likely to be a problem than if you use nice, small, little increments where you can scale a bit 
see how the campaign performs. Does it do well still? Great. Let's get a bit more and so on and so on. So I'm going to go with 3% and then it's probably a good idea to set an upper budget limit. Is there a certain amount that you just do not want to spend more than um, no matter what? You know, this is going to vary depending on your business, but you might set that at you know, £500 a day or whatever, just to make sure that if this campaign does really well and you're sort of setting and forgetting it and working on other things and you forget about it and it keeps spending more and more and more and more you don't want to get to the point where it's spending so much that it's generating more leads and you can cope with from a capacity standpoint for example yes you can always come back into google ad account and, and check it but i don't think it's a bad idea just to increase this uh, just to put something in here for some businesses this might be way more for some it might be way less it's going to vary depending on uh, your setup okay then we've got frequency so when do we want this automated rule to run the default is daily and i think that's good um, you know, we wouldn't want this running more often. You could have it running less often if you wanted to, but I quite like um, daily, so I'm going to go with that. Then when do we want this to run? The default is basically midday. That's fine. You could change it to midnight if you wanted to um, or any hour, but I think that's fine. And then this is a really important section here, which is using data from. The assessment of what our cost per lead is, is it below the £20 that we set, yes or no? What time frame do you want Google to look at to make that assessment? If you go with the default, which is all time, you can really run into issues there. Let's say, for example, you run this campaign and it's performed really well for a couple of months and you've been at £12 cost per lead on average, and that's really profitable for your business. As the campaign scales, you know, let's say it's doing really well for the first couple of months, it's going to be scaling basically daily if you go with all time, because it's going to look at that day, run the rule, look at the next time, two days, run the rule, look at the first three days, run the rule, etc. You're going to be scaling, scaling, scaling. As you do that, your cost per lead in this case is likely to increase. And what you don't want to do is have a scenario where the cost per lead for the last few days was say 25 pounds, but the average over those two months is 15 pounds because it started off really well uh, when you were at lower budget levels. And that's leading you to spend more and more, but you don't want to be because your actual cost per lead right now is above your target limit. So if you go with all time, you can lead to your budget increasing and increasing when it shouldn't be when perhaps your ads are fatigued if you're you know running performance max campaigns and display network ads are fatigued or youtube ads are fatigued or whatever um, and you need to make some adjustments you don't just want to keep spending more money so i like to come in here and change this um if you're generating a significant conversion volume so you're getting lots in this case of leads in and you can shorten the time frame over which you want google to assess the data because you've just got more data to work with. if you're only generating say a lead a day you wouldn't want to go ahead and put in for example assess the last three days which is what i've got here but if you're generating 30 leads a day that's absolutely fine because that's plenty of data to assess how are we performing over the last three days are we still under our target yes we are let's go ahead and do it if you're just generating a couple of leads a day you definitely want to extend that you can go with last seven days if you're only generating a lead a day you might want to go with something more like last 14 days so that's going to be dependent on your conversion volume that's something you need to be aware of the default for us would usually be something like the three to seven days that sort of range so you can just enter in three up there or go with one of the options um just depending on on conversion volume okay but really important that you do change that hopefully i've explained why and then you can choose when you're notified so you can get google to notify you if there are changes or errors you can get them to um, notify you every time this rule runs etc etc whatever you want to do and then obviously just pop your email address in there which is probably going to be added in automatically so that you are notified when this occurs if you want to be, which is a useful thing for a lot of advertisers want to know if their campaigns are scaling or not. Then we go ahead and click save rule. So there's one other really important thing that I want to show you about this. Before I do, just want to quickly let you know about our done for you Google ad services. So my company can create, manage and optimize your Google ad campaigns. We can take that workload off your hand and help improve your results. If you're interested in us doing that, finding out more about our service, what we charge, etc., you can click on the link in the video description below. That'll take you through to a page on our website where you can book in a call directly with one of my team members. These calls are free, absolutely no obligation. It's an opportunity for you to find out more about what we offer and for us to let you know if we've worked with a business like yours in the past, for example, which we may well have done and may know exactly how to get you better results. Okay, so we've got our automated rule set up to nicely scale our campaign and scaling at 3%. Remember, this rule runs every day. So if your results are good and stay good, you are actually going to reach higher budget levels quite quickly you know three percent the first day and then another three percent then another three percent then another three percent and all of a sudden you're spending twice as much as you were and you just keep going and keep going and keep going assuming that your results are good which is the only conditions under which you want to be scaling anyway so it's a really good way to set things up now for sort of extra brownie points something i'd recommend you do is set this up to be really dynamic as you can set up a rule so that if you're in this case cost per lead but it could be cost per conversion or whatever it is you're optimizing for goes above a certain amount goes in the wrong direction your results are poor you could then start to bring your budget back down which is something i'd often recommend 
So if we go ahead and sort of create the other side of this, click on these three little dots more and then create an automated rule. And then we're going to do the exact same thing, but we're going to sort of do it in reverse. So budget um, decrease 3%. Okay, well, let's select obviously the same campaign, this example lead campaign, click done in there. What condition do we want? So let's go with the same thing. So we've got cost per conversion. So if the cost per conversion in this case is greater than a certain amount, we want to decrease the budget back down. So I wouldn't enter in the exact same amount as we did before. Um, that there's no buffer in there at all. That doesn't really make sense. But if you pop in say 25 pounds, so if it's within that 20 to 25, maybe just keep it as it is and try and work out, try and improve the campaign. But if it's going over 25 pounds, that's a little bit away from where we want to be. We want to be under 20. Let's go ahead and uh, decrease that budget. So choose the action. We're going to change budgets. We're going to select average daily budget again, because that's what we would usually run. And then this time we're going to decrease the budget. And then we're going to do the exact same thing and decrease it by 3% potentially daily if our cost per conversion is too high. We can set a lower budget limit and say, look, I never want to spend less than £100 a day. Whether you want to do that is going to depend on your business. Sometimes you're thinking, well, we need, you know, we've got staff to pay and everything. Even if our leads are costing us a bit more than we like, we still need some coming in to, to keep the show running. So we want to keep this at a certain amount. Again, this might be a lot more for some businesses or a lot less for others, or maybe you want to leave it blank. That's going to depend on your business. We're going to run it daily. Same situation. We can see the default here has been uh, has been one to two uh, based, on, based on recording, but, you know, we could change that to run at midnight. We could leave it at that. It doesn't really matter. Again, with the using data from, you want to go with the same setup as you did last time. So if you did the last seven days to see whether you scale, do the last seven days to see whether you scale back, whether you decrease. If you did three days, use three days, etc., etc. And then exactly the same with email results. And we go ahead and save rule. So that's now set up nicely so that our budget is going to be adjusted completely according to performance in both directions and is going to be happening potentially on a daily basis if certain conditions are met which is great. It's very dynamic. It's also very hands-free for you as an advertiser. You can set this and you don't have to be in there constantly tweaking and monitoring the budget, which is great. You can focus on other things like improving the quality of your ads and all the stuff that helps improve your results within your Google Ad campaign. This new Google Ad scaling strategy is not the only new technique that we're using right now that's working really well. I share a bunch of Google Ad secrets, tips, and techniques in this video here. If you want to keep up to date with the very latest Google Ad strategies that make all the difference to your results, I strongly recommend you check out this video.